I really like Kai Tres because he plays hockey with me and uh, Kai Tres is my best friend. I just love him. The strength that he has is so inspiring and... Uh, He's um, overcome so many obstacles to get to this place and you'd never know that because he's so happy and positive. 14-year-old Christian Wimet wasn't supposed to be here. Not on the ice, not in this room, not anywhere. He wasn't supposed to survive the first trimester of his mother's pregnancy. We didn't know, we had no idea. We had no clue what the future was gonna hold. Early on, the doctors suggested we have an abortion. I remember vividly just saying, what are we doing? Why are we even considering this? Christian was born with a rare chromosome disorder, resulting in numerous physical and mental abnormalities. At the time of his birth, there were only 25 documented cases worldwide. Christian underwent two heart surgeries in the first 10 months of his life and was declared clinically dead twice on the operating table. The heart was disconnected. They literally told me that they took his heart out of his chest. They had to put his body on ice. Christian survived, but his challenges persist. A pacemaker keeps his heart beating. He has just one kidney. He's legally deaf and blind and has undergone 28 surgeries with more to come. But none of his ailments has ever interrupted his greatest passion. He loved hockey. I mean, it didn't matter what it was on TV. It was better, of course, when it was live and his brother was playing. He'd be right there on the boards, banging the boards and screaming and yelling. It was difficult on him. He wanted to play and it was just never possible. That's when Christian's father first heard of the Capital City Condors, a family of hockey teams in Ottawa for people with developmental disabilities. He reached out to the co-founders of the team, Jim and Shanna Perkins, to ask if Christian could play. Christian's condition we hadn't heard of before, and when my sisters in, in medical, in the medical field, heard about it, she goes, and those kids don't live that She said, well. that can't be right. That he can't, can't have... be, he can't have that. Yeah. It's, well, yeah, he does. I said, but Jim, you realize he, he I mean, he's have his, he has a hard time walking, let alone skating. He says, it doesn't matter. Can he put skates on? And I said, yeah. Well, then Christian's part of the team. They'd push him around in a chair and he'd hit the puck with his stick or, you know, he pushed the chair himself to start learning how to skate. Mm. I think it was the last day of that year. He was determined he was going to going to skate on his own. And he went from red line to blue line entirely on his own. And you would have thought that the Stanley Cup had just been the brought out. The just was, went wild. You're crying looking at that going, this boy was never supposed to walk. And there's a chance that this boy would never live. But yet there he is on the ice thinking he's an NHL star. Around the same time, Kyle Turris and his wife Julie became involved in the Condors program. We were just blown away by the atmosphere and the love and the mm -hmm. genuine happiness that, that we saw in the first skate we went to. He would say their name and greet them and hug them and talk to them on a personal level and they just, they felt like he was their friend. The tourists first met Christian at a team practice and the bond has grown strong. So he came up to me and he's like, uh, Kyle, if you score uh, tonight, you gotta do the celebration. Yeah, you watched the game last night? Yeah. Yeah? I smoke out there. I forgot to do the celebration again. Oh. I know, I keep forgetting. <laughs> I, you gotta show me how you do it to remind me. And he started to kind of shaking his it's legs. a little bit like Elvis. Yeah, it's like <laughs> Elvis with his knees kind of shaking. And, I don't even know and, if you can uh, do that. I can't dance to begin with, so. <laughs> oh, 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 I got the leg shake going. See, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to do that on the ice, though. You know? Oh, too sure. So every time I see Christian, we we joke about it, and he says I have to do it one day. So I'm gonna keep you trying will. to remember. Christian loves the game for the game's sake, as it is with all of the Condors. The joy comes in simply being able to play. We want our son to grow yeah. up with similar character traits to that of Christian. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. strength that he has, the attitude that he has, I and mean, it's things that we would like to install in our son.